Okay, so get ready because today we're diving into something really cool. We're taking a deep dive into Celestial Craft, the Witch's Almanac for 2025. Oh yeah, this one's special. Yeah, and this isn't like, you know, your grandma's gardening calendar, though, I mean, it does have some of that. It does, yeah. But this almanac, it's like a guide for witches and anyone really to connect with the cosmos and harness its energy. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, how can we use these celestial happenings to like achieve our goals? Exactly. It gives you that practical like how to, you know, a lot of people are interested in witchcraft, paganism, even just being more in tune with nature's rhythms. Right. It's not just like, oh, there's a full moon. It's okay. Here's what you can do with that energy. Absolutely. So I was going through it and the section on lunar eclipses, whoa. Oh yeah. What did you find? So it talks about this ritual for releasing negativity during the lunar eclipse on August 12th. And it got me thinking, right? Like, what if I could use that lunar energy to, say, finally kick my sugar cravings? That's a really interesting thought. And it kind of gets to the core of what this almanac is all about. Lunar eclipses, they're often seen as these times of, like, supercharged energy, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a chance to break free from old patterns. So, yeah, I mean, doing a ritual, focusing on letting go of that sugar craving during the eclipse, it could totally amplify your intention. Oh, I love that. Okay, so speaking of powerful cosmic events, this almanac also goes deep on planetary alignments. Like, I know a bit about astrology, but this is next level. It definitely takes things a step further. And what's cool is it gives you very specific advice based on those alignments. So, for example, in late November 2025, there's this big alignment of Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. Yeah. And the almanac says this is like prime time for manifesting abundance, especially uh -oh. financial growth, especially for people who, you know, Taurus is strong in their birth chart. Oh, interesting. I'm going to have to check my chart and see if Taurus is prominent. Yeah, definitely do that. See where my money's at. But what I like, it's not just about like interpreting, you know, what these events mean the almanac actually gives you rituals and spells to work with them it's like here's what you can do exactly that's what makes it so practical and honestly it's organized so well i mean whether you're like a total beginner or you've been practicing for years you wow. can easily find what you need for each event yeah i love that it's so user friendly yeah okay so back to the tomatoes Remember, i mentioned there's a whole section on planting by the moon cycle oh yeah lunar gardening now i gotta be honest I'm a little skeptical. Like, does that really make a difference? Well, you know, some people swear by it. The idea is that the moon's gravity, right, it affects the moisture in the soil. So it can impact everything from, you know, how well your seeds sprout to how big your fruits and veggies grow. Wow. It's this really cool practice that, like, gets us back in touch with nature and its rhythms. It's been around for centuries, you know, in tons of different cultures. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay, so wrapping things up. Whether you consider yourself a witch or just someone who's like, hey, the universe is cool, this almanac is such a fun way to explore how the cosmos connects to our lives. It really is. It makes you think outside the box, like, wow, what if all this stuff in the sky really does influence us, you know? Right. It totally makes you more aware. It's like, oh, wait, there's this whole other layer to life. So I'm curious, what about you? If you could choose one celestial event, like harness its energy for your own purpose, which would you pick and why? Hmm. That is a good question. It would be hard to pick just one. I know, right? So much to explore. <laughs> so tell us in the comments. And if you want to see what magic you can create in 2025, definitely check out Celestial Craft. Who knows? You might just discover the secret to a garden that's out of this world. Absolutely. It's definitely worth checking out. All right. That's it for our deep dive today. See you next time. See ya.